All right, I'm back. And today is February the 9th, Tuesday, February the 9th, 1033. We got 278 amp hours in the battery, 70%. So we bringing in five, about 600 watts, close to 600 watts, 53.6, the battery voltage. Voltage and we're bringing in about 10 amps. And there you go. But for the people who ask about the breakers, all these little white, these are all breakers right here. Breakers, breakers, breakers. I have a battery disconnect. And you talk about the wires all over the place. Voltage drop. I'm really not worried about the voltage drop. I mean, you know, 48 volt usually use this size wire. You know, it's, 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 it didn't burn over there. The battery just was like, I mean, that wire was just like that. But we usually typically use this type of wire for 48 volt. But I didn't have it, so I use a little thicker 2 op. You see that? Cables. That's why you see 2 op cables and then 1 op. But, and then you ask where my breakers was at. I never showed this, but you see that right there? PV control output, PV control input breakers. And then I also have right here, let's see if I can get it. The inverter. That's the master right there. The master right there. So that's the main inverter. Output, output. I, it, and then this right here also have breakers. Inside of here is all my breakers. That's my panel box, breaker panel box. So actually I do have breakers on both, all my systems. All my system has break, breakers. I have the ones on the batteries. Now I don't have a disconnect for the inverter over here, but that's coming. But I do have a battery disconnect as well as the breakers that come with the batteries. And I hear a lot of people saying wires. My wires are actually hooked up pretty nice. It's just the MC4 cables. All you're looking at is the MC4 cables that's coming out of this wall right here. That's coming from the top of the roof. But if you look at my battery wires, everything is correct. From positive to positive to positive to positive. So, I mean, I was just trying to figure out what y'all was looking at. And then I also have a disconnect battery disconnect right there on the negative side. Plus, I have one on the positive side. And I've been running this system for years. I mean, when I say years, I mean over five years. And I have never had a problem with voltage drop or anything. I mean, my system run perfectly fine. And I hope people that, you know, talk, that, that get into the comments, I hope y'all run y'all off grid. I mean, I hope y'all run your house off grid and don't rely on any type of alternate, you know, power source. Me personally, I only rely on this system here. I don't have no generator. I don't have any, you know, I'm not hooked up to the grid where I have it coming in here and stuff like that. I'm not hooked up to the grid or none of that. And plus, I live in an unrestricted area, meaning I don't need permits from any licensed electrician or anything like that. So, I know I don't really talk about my breakers, but that's a breaker panel box. If I open that box, I got so many breakers and, you know, stuff like that. Only thing I don't have hooked up... Is that the solar panels are going to go into this box right here with breakers and everything it's just not hooked up yet that's the only thing i don't have a breaker on is the mc4 cables which i have never had a problem with never so i get what y'all you know i understand why y'all ask Where's my breakers? But I have breakers in these panel boxes right here. Anytime you see that box, you should automatically know if you're off grid or if you even deal with solar systems, you should already know it's a panel box. It's a midnight solar. It's a midnight solar panel box. 
See? Yes, so breakers are on these batteries. I have breakers on all my systems. Like I said, the only thing I don't is I haven't hooked up this yet because I was going to hook up all my panels and run them all through this panel box, this solar breaker panel box. You see? You want to see? Bam. So... That's the only thing that don't have breakers. I haven't hooked that up yet. Randy's MC4 cables in the bottom of that. That's it. Everything else has breakers. And my system, and I'm showing y'all this because I want to show y'all that my system runs perfectly fine. It's not even a sunny day today. It's actually a cloudy day. And we're bringing in about 600 watts. This system over here now. This system here, I don't have uh, breakers on. Let's see if I can fix that. So the battery sitting at 53.3. I don't even, you know, sometimes I switch the MC4 cable just to charge this battery up. It knows that 8K right there. These two batteries, 8K. But everything is hooked up. Y'all just, you know, the wire is just long because I have to run along wire you know and stuff like that but i haven't had any problem on voltage drops i get what y'all saying and how i understand but no i haven't had that issue this how my house run perfectly fine all through the year through winter through summer all of that so i appreciate y'all for caring you know I'm redoing this whole room see this this room right here is just an extra room I, this is really my wash room but I'm getting ready to build a garage and this whole system is going to be put inside the garage. You know, I think I might even build another shed outside and just run a power room where all this is inside that shed. Now, yes, I then I would have voltage drop because I'll be running all that wire underneath the ground into this breaker box right here, into my breaker box. So yeah, I'll see voltage drop in because I'll be running the system from a distance all the way in my backyard to the front up here in this panel box right here. So I just had to make this video to clear up everything that people, you know, saying clean up the wires. Yeah, I know it's a, it looks a little messy. You know, I, I, I get that. But this system right here, all this stuff been running for over five years without an issue. The only thing I think I had to change was some of these. And that's not starting from the bottom. It's sometimes up at on top of the roof. It gets a little hot, you know, so the wires are kind of melt. That's about it. But never had a problem. Wires get, you know, these some of these wires I bought was cheap. These right here have been doing perfectly fine. And so, I mean some of these MC4 cables I bought was kind of cheap. So I started buying a little more expensive ones to go zeros. They pretty good, you know. I haven't had a problem. But that's all y'all looking at. Y'all looking at how I, you know, how these are coming in and stuff like this and how I got this wire running here. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. But everything is running perfectly fine. I have to mount this up somewhere. Get that mounted. But other than that, that's all I wanted to make. This. I wanted to shoot this video so I could clear up that. That yes, my system has has breakers. Those panel box right there all have breakers and disconnects and everything. And I have battery disconnects. I have breakers on my batteries. Like I said, the only thing I don't, I didn't hook up yet was the MC4 cables to run into this combiner box. Right here. That's it. So hope that answers some of y'all questions. And you know, I could be. I'm really not worried about voltage drop because like I say, if it, it was an issue with my system, then I would have to go in and try to figure out what's going on with my system. But honestly, I have no problem with my system, especially since I bought all these batteries and I'm going to add one more battery. It'll put me at 25 kilowatt hours and I already do good off 20 kilowatt hours and I'm going to jump to 25 kilowatt hours. And for some people, man, use batteries. I just, I just, I'm to the point where I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to buy used batteries no more. And I know 
it's a little cheaper for some people, but brand new batteries are the that's the way to go. Brand new batteries. Go on, get yourself some brand new batteries so you can do 15 years, you know, running your system for 15 years. Just save up money. You know, in about 15 years, you got to switch the battery system. So just save up, save up, save up, save up. And then when you get to a point, I mean, when you get to the point where you feel like your batteries are at a certain degradation, then it's time to switch. Use that money that you've been saving up and buy you some new batteries, buy you some new solar panels, buy you some new wires. Things like that will have to be switched. And like I say, 48 volt use, usually use about that size wire. It it really doesn't matter that I'm using this. It's just like I say, it's, it's what I had at the time, so I use it. That's why y'all see two op wires and you know different type of wires and stuff like that. So, I'm going to shoot the next video to continue in the vlog about me living off, you know, doing my living off grid uh, vlog because I want to let y'all know every day how my system doing. I'm not, I'm going to sit here and just show y'all every day so y'all will know how my system runs. See, a lot of people do, don't do this. I'm only doing what people don't do. You know, if you're going to talk about a solar system and try to sell it and show people that it works and want people to buy and go off grid as well, then I'm going to show you every day of my life how this works. Okay, so that's it. I am the Texas off grid guy. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe so y'all can see my future videos. And every time I post these videos, showing y'all how off grid really works. Living off grid really works. Don't listen to the people out there on YouTube saying it doesn't work. All right, so I'll see y'all in my next video.